Similar Manohim uh, electrical network analysis and in second portion of this week we will uh, continue the four year series so in the last lecture <coughs> we have uh, studied the about the components of the four year series and the amplitudes of the different uh, the, the the dc portion the sine n the cosine series uh, of the four year series okay and uh, later on <coughs> we have done some examples on it and then uh, we have studied the even and odd functions so now uh, today uh, we will study how to write the function for any non-sinusoidal waveform because uh, it will uh, work uh, while we will we will do the four AC. So let's start with the square waveform. Okay. So here is the square waveform. Okay. So how to write the function? From zero to one, we have uh, minus. Uh, we have two value, and from one to two, we have minus two value. From one to two, we have minus two value. <coughs> so. <coughs> Uh, here's the function so we have to write the function for one cycle only okay although it is uh, it is periodic periodic means every mm, the this the signal will repeat itself after equal interval of time so what does it mean it means every cycle have the same frequency in the same amplitude uh, means every cycle will be the copy of uh, the original cycle okay so we will write the function for only one signal okay now uh, this is a stairs type uh, function okay so from 0 to 1 there is a mistake from uh, 0 to 1 there is a 1 and this is 2 this is 3 here is 4 and then we have the 5 okay this is okay so uh, so we have to uh, we have to write the function and we have to determine whether it is even or odd and also a comment on its periodicity so from 0 to 1 this value is how much 2 okay and from 1 to 2 its value increases to 4 and from 2 to 3 we have uh, how much 6 from 3 to 4 it goes down 4 and from 4 to 5 it again 2 okay so it's the function it is even because when we apply f of t f of minus t in this so f of t and f of minus t will be equal and uh, definitely it repeats itself after the equal interval of time so it's erratic and speed it is five okay now the second function here we can see that it's again uh paradic uh, uh paradic and a square wave form from zero to one we have four value from one to two we have minus four value and the period is two okay now we have uh, this non sinusoidal function here we have value of 2 from 0 to 1 and from 1 to 2 we have 0 value and uh, despite it's a 0 value but it's part of the cycle because uh, after equal after uh, every square we have uh, the zero amplitude uh, half cycle okay so a square half cycle and then a zero half cycle okay but it's a part of the function okay a cycle so you must write zero to one we, we have to specify the zero as well from zero to one we have two value and from one to two we have zero and that is why it's uh, as it is a part of the cycle so it will be counted in the time period so 
time period will be two okay now we have uh, this function so here we can uh, start from minus one to two so it will be easy to write function okay because uh, again after this cycle we can see a copy of this signal and on the back side it's also a copy so uh, the period is one two and three so the period is time period is three and uh, we have the function of from minus one to one it's uh, three okay here is a three and uh, from one to two it's a zero okay <clears throat> Now we have the RAM function. What is a RAM function? It's actually a linear line. Okay. So two. Okay. So we have to apply this slope because it's a positive slope. So that is why we have to apply the slope formula in order to find the function for the signal. Okay. Uh, here is a complete cycle only okay it's also called a sawtooth function okay because it's look like the tooth of the saw and also called the ram function <coughs> okay the period is one okay and uh, now the function so apply the two point formula x minus x1 divided by x2 minus x1 is equal to y minus y1 divided by y2 minus y1 here x1 is uh, 0 y1 x1 is 0 y1 is also 0 x1 is 1 y1 uh, sorry x2 is uh, 1 y2 is 2 so we have you you have to write uh, just like this 1 comma 2 so uh, then it will be easy for you to determine that which is the value of x1 and x2 and y1 and y2 here the x is uh, t and the y is f of t okay so after putting the values we will get f of t is equal to 2t from 0 to 1 okay the time period is 1 okay now a little bit similar uh, fu uh, function signal as the previous one but now we have two slopes the one is the positive slope and the other is the negative slope so the same formula will be applied on both of these slopes separately okay so first of all we have to specify x1 and x2 value y1 and y2 value for this slope and this slope as well okay so here we can see that x1 is minus 1 y1 is 0 x2 is how much 0 y1 is y2 is 2 and uh, now this x2 and y2 are x1 and y1 for this slope and x2 for this uh, negative slope is 1 and y2 is 0. Putting the values, you will get 3 times t plus 1 from minus 1 to 0. And from 0 to 1, we have minus 3 t plus 3. Okay. And we have the 0 as well. So it's also a part of the cycle because it uh, in the previous uh, cycle, you can see. It's also present so it means it's a periodic function and uh, this is a part of the cycle okay so we have to specify this as well from one to two it's zero okay now uh, here is the function f of t <coughs> okay now the slope is constant throughout from minus one to one so there is no need to apply the slope formula separately no need to apply from minus one to zero and from zero to one rather we have to apply uh, the two point formula from minus one to straight away to plus one because the slope is constant okay so the time period will be from minus one to one means two and uh, x1 is uh, minus one y one is four minus four x2 is uh, plus one y2 is plus four okay putting the values we will get f of t is equal to 40 from minus one to one okay uh, very simple okay now we have uh, a combination of a straight line and a slope okay so it's easy from 0 to 1 it's uh, 3 okay no need to apply the slope because 
the slope of the straight line is zero and it's constant throughout from zero to one so it will be from zero to one it should be three and we have to apply the two point formula by specifying the x and y values okay so we'll get from zero to one okay it's a mistake from zero to one it's three and from one to two it's minus three t plus four okay okay now a rectified full rectified output function so it's a sinusoidal having p value of three so f of t will be three sine omega t okay from zero to t and omega depend upon its frequency time period is two now this also a sinusoidal but uh, it's shifted version so we, we can we will say that it's a cosine function so having a peak value of how much six okay peak value is six so six cos omega t okay from minus one to one and zero it's also part of cycle so from one to two it's zero okay temperature will be three okay it's a exponentially decaying uh, function okay it's just like this okay so having a peak uh, value of four and e raised to the power minus 80 okay it depend upon uh, it's uh, the, it's the constant and it actually defines its shape the pattern how how much depth it goes okay so how much deep it goes so from zero to one it's uh, four e raised to the power minus 80 okay now uh it's a homework for you people uh, solve homework you have to work on it we have already done it uh, in fac as well uh, it's a, a integration by parts okay it will be beneficial while solving the four series in the next lecture so we will continue the four series in the next lecture but before you have to practice on the two uh, the integration by parts okay so in, in integration by parts we have uh, two functions one and two but uh, remember you have to be careful while marking one and two for signal okay uh, for one you have to select uh, that that function which will decay after applying the in uh, the derivative okay so in this the t will decay uh, while applying the derivative dt by dt which will be equal to one so but if you consider it as two then uh, an integration will be applied okay? on part two and the integration will be applied so it will rather increases its uh, its power after one cycle it will be t squared by two and and after that t cubed by three so uh, it will be wrong it will never end up so you must be careful okay it's a formula one integration of two minus integral differential of first integration of two okay so it's a homework for you people again it's a sine omega t cos omega t so every time you have not to apply the integration by parts you should be a clever that uh, it may be solved by easier way so here we got uh, got rid of uh, the integration by parts by uh, by applying a trick a trick is to multiply and divide it by two so one or two will remain as it is and the multiplying two will be used as a trigonometric uh, formula so two sine omega t cos omega t will be equal to sine two omega t so it will be then easy no need to apply integration by parts okay so okay here is a note we will discuss it in the Fourier series but briefly for all functions bn is equal to zero and a n is not non-zero okay because odd function uh odd function has having because for example a sine 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 is odd function so a n uh, is having a sine function so a n will not be equal to zero while uh, if you find b n which is uh, which comprises of the cosine function so in the sine function we don't uh, in, we don't have the cause 
trigonometric function so it will be equal to 0 similarly for even function it will be opposite of that a n will be equal to 0 b and non zero if the positive and negative areas are the same area under the curve okay so then a naught will be equal to 0 okay so it's again a integration by parts uh, here we have uh, e raised to the power minus 80 function um, function 1 and sin omega to function 2 okay but uh, in this no or no of no one of these two functions decays to zero so what you have to do you have to uh, consider it as i okay then uh, after one cycle you have to uh, consider it as i okay so that is a trick the the question has been solved it's a homework for you people and from next lecture we will study we will uh, start the 4u series uh, by finding the a naught a n and b n values for different functions so that is all for today uh, thank you stay blessed